Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a courthouse in El Paso, Texas, where Ass Elmo is having a, well, bit of a fit over the fact that he has to show his ID and go through the scanners as he enters the courthouse. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy Ass Elmo making a complete and utter clown out of himself once again with his stupidity. I, yeah, we, I just want to take video of the building. Yeah, definitely, man. Awesome. But do you have your ID with you? Why would you need that? Well, dumbass Elmo, uh, you should already know the answer to that, given that people have probably told you a million times. But your head is so thick that no information actually makes it through unless it's something that uh, is easy to digest. But at any rate, it is done that way for security reasons, and it is not a Fourth Amendment violation. Because if it were, they would uh, take away your ID and never give it back. But you know what? You're too damn pig ignorant to freaking figure that one out, aren't you? You're into, uh, is this a level four federal facility? Yes, it is. It is? Oh, okay, okay. So what, what, I mean, does that make are, a difference? You guys are welcome to come in. But awesome. If you want to use the restroom further down, you have to, you have to show some ID. Okay. For the restroom? Yes, sir. Yes. Why, do you, why, why do you need an ID to go to the restroom? I mean, if you want to go further in, past the lobby area, but this is the public area, which is allowed to. So why, why do we have to uh, waive our Fourth Amendment in order to come into the People's Building? If this is a federal uh, facility, the federal government uh, is the one that promotes our rights. It's a federal... Right, right, which is the, the, the lobby area, which is we don't ask for any ID if we are coming inside to the uh, lobby area. Is there a way, did you take an oath to, well, you're private security, but did right. you take an oath to protect the United States Constitution? Hey, ask Elmo, have you actually read the entire Constitution? Because I'm just wondering that uh, if you didn't know that the Tenth Amendment grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, and guess what? Just looking at your uh, state issued ID is not exactly a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights because it's not your personal property. It is issued to you by the government as a way to identify everybody, you freaking moron. Now, if he was actually asking to look through your own personal papers, such as your mortgage or your bank statements, yeah, then if he tried it, then it would be may be considered a violation of your Fourth Amendment, but seeing as how it's your government ID, no, it's not. Uh, that, no, sir. No? Okay. Uh, well, I can, under I can understand that, but as a, uh, as a citizen here, sir, you, you should know that, you know, uh, we have rights of uh, freedom of the press, and if we are um, entering a public building, it shouldn't be a problem. That's not what freedom of the press means, dumbass Elmo. What it means is that you can publish your stories without interference from the government. It doesn't mean you have free reign to go wherever the hell you want to beyond the areas that the public is allowed to go into, you freaking idiot. And you should know this that given the amount of times that you've been booted out of uh, buildings because of this BS. A little longer than a few minutes later. How's it going? Can I have your name and badge number, please? My name? Yes, please. Duarte, badge number 1496, right here. Okay. What's Thanks. going on? I'm just concerned about the uh, ID requirement to just to enter and take pictures. We don't want to, we, we, we want to remain anonymous. Okay, gotcha. Can we do that? As far as taking pictures of the mural, you're fine as long as you remain down here. 
this is going to be the public area. Now, if you're trying to come in access into the facility, then you're going to require some sort of government identification, and that's going to be the policies that we have. Anybody coming into federal government facilities, you require an ID. As a federal uh, police officer, mm -hmm. do you take an oath to protect the Constitution? Of course. How do you feel about all these policies and rules trampling on, on, on our God-given rights? You know, we have the rights were made for something. And then now as the years pass, then they want to put all these, uh, how we call it, the e-break mm -hmm. in, our, in our rights because of security purposes. But those people, Benjamin Franklin said that the people who sacrificed their liberties for security shall deserve neither. You know, I'd be really careful about quoting anybody like that because you never know if the quote is taken out of context of a much larger statement about something because you frauditors and other types like to do that all the damn time. So, if you can provide the exact context of what he was saying, especially in the speech or whatever he was giving at the time, it would be beneficial to you to uh, be able to provide that, other than uh, spouting out lines of BS that maybe another frauditor uh, spouted off a long time ago, that he, something that he no knew nothing about. And that being said, Maybe you should uh, think about the context of everything that's been going on. Well, for the past hundred years, I mean, this topic of security in courthouses and other places is not exactly a new thing, D dumbass Elmo. So it's sad for us patriotic people that uh, walk into historic buildings like this one, federal buildings. And then automatically we're, we're, we're stopped uh, by security officers uh, asking for ID, uh, metal detectors, and, and all this. And, can, can we you know, scoot over? Yes. So that way they can Do you want to go outside? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Okay, thank you, sir. Oh, my. Uh, look at that. A little sleight of hand on the part of the security guard. He managed to get ass Elmo outside without him complaining about directives and unlawful activity and everything like that. Oh my goodness, Aselmo, you're off your game. So we're just trying to bring awareness on our rights, brother. Everywhere we go throughout the country, we have these uh, Fourth Amendment waiver areas. Right. And, and it's just sad because even if even if we have zombie apocalypse going on outside, you guys are ready uh, with all the equipment and all the funds available from the federal government to to make uh, to make the situation safe. Mm -hmm. um, also, there should be other ways nowadays in 2023. If you guys, I don't agree with any searches, but if you guys want to search uh, people, maybe you guys should. Uh, do have a better uh, equipment that does that be, be uh, without people having to, you know, take off their uh, empty their pockets. It's it's a uh, how do you say it? It's it's inconvenient for for the people. And, and yes, security. But we always go towards freedom more than more than security. It's everybody's responsibility to uh, you know stay safe. And if you're in fear of your life, then we have you guys. Right. But it's just, it's just sad, brother. Maybe one day we could come back and not have to show ID here. Well, that's all well and good, dumbass Elmo. But the moment they initiate that alternative method, you're going to be there crying about the Fourth Amendment being violated when you have no freaking clue what you're talking about to begin with. I mean, if you want to do something about this issue, why don't you take it all the way to the Supreme Court and let them deal with it? Oh wait, you're not going to do that because it doesn't fit your uh, narrative because, well, you try to take it up there and you will get owned and you will be laughed 
out of there because they know more about how the Constitution works than you ever will. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.